Thanks for joining me in today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a cowl stand for any Batman cowls you might have. In the Batman cosplay community, from what I can tell since I've joined it a couple years ago, a lot of people don't have actual nice cowl stands. A lot of people just use paper towel holders and things like that. Well, the thing with that is paper towel holders like five, six bucks. You can make a really nice cowl stand for like maybe twice that amount at most and that's for like a big one like this I have smaller ones that cost even less so in today's video we're gonna go over how to put this together overall the price of this is about $14 for everything you need for a big one like this it's less if you get a smaller one if you get a smaller one it's only like two dollars more than a paper towel holder by a smaller one I mean one like this this is a smaller one it works perfectly fine for holding it I thought I'd just go over how to make a nice big detailed one one of my favorite ones, a BVS cowl stand. Uh, it honestly takes the longest to make. It's got the most detail and it's most expensive to make, but it's still, like I said, only like double the price of a paper towel holder and you get a much nicer cowl stand. As you can see right here, it looks really good. We'll go over how to make every last little piece of it, all the details and everything. Without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So for this project, the list of materials you will need is a wooden dowel, a half styrofoam ball, some smooth finish foam coating for the styrofoam ball, black acrylic paint, and elephant gray. Now for this cowl stand, you don't have to put a design on it. You can just leave it blank, paint it gray with a black border if you want, paint whatever you want on it for, or just leave it blank wood and put this on there as the stand. For me though, I'm going to show you how I do the personalized detail and everything. So normally I have a piece of paper template for the BVS symbol because this is the BVS cowl display stand that I am making. But I don't know where it went through the move. So I'm going to be using the Batarang stand as my template because that way I don't have to worry about sizing up the paper to fit on the plaque. And this is basically a perfect fit. So that's good enough for me. I don't know where any of my pins or pencils are, so I'm going to be using the pencil bit of my compass to outline it around there. So we're going to get it as centered up as we possibly can. That looks pretty good. And we're going to draw the outline. So we've got our template, our stencil drawn on it. I'll give you a better look. We've got the basic outline drawn on. We're going to go in and put as much detail as possible on this piece. So we're going to take a ruler and do our best to match the lines that are on here to this. And then we're gonna go in and put all the little marks in all the way throughout the whole thing. All the detail in this is gonna be in this. And you should get all this detail with a printout. You don't have to do all this detail. You could just do the outline and paint it all black. That would still look great. I like to go the extra mile with mine and do as much detail as possible with this one. This is the only one I really do this to because it's the only one that really has this much detail, which is why I don't mind doing it with this one. So now that we've got all of our details drawn into the plaque, I'll bring it up to show you. Every little line in there, we'll go in with the scratches later after we do this next part. We're going to take a wood burner and burn every little detail in. That way, when we go to paint it, the details will still show through instead of it just being one solid black piece. The lines that are here, you're not going to have the same size as you would burn it in. They're going to be a little bigger. The lines that are there are basically just so you know the placements of where everything is to line it all up. Don't worry, in the end it will look great. So as you go in and burn and etch everything into the wood with the wood burner, you want to just slightly push down in order to get it to go just enough into the wood, but not to where it's gonna burn it. If it happens, it happens. The paint covers it up a good bit, so it, you won't really be able to tell. So you just follow the lines that you've drawn all the way around. Every last little detail is gonna be etched into the wood. Do like what it'll be like once it's all etched in, how much more prominent it is, and just the fine detail that goes into it to really bring it to life once it's all painted. So the next time you'll see it will probably be right towards the end. So let's get back to it. 
So the reason I said that the size of the dashes that you put on as your guiding marks for where you're gonna burn in for the details didn't matter is because when you use the wood burn tool, when you do those dashes, you get the same length line every time. You just need to have it set up so that you know where to put it. So I'll show you right here. You just take it, you push it in, you push it in, you push it in. And just like that, you have the same size lines. Those are a little crooked comparatively, just because I was doing it at a weird angle to make sure I wasn't in the way of the cameras. But you can see it here, and you can see it here. Everything's etched in, everything's nice and detailed. Now we're gonna go over with some black acrylic paint, paint this in, paint the borders black, and then do, I believe, elephant gray around the outside. And in order to paint these, I don't really use paint brushes, mainly because there's no point in buying any. I use the sponge brushes. The sponge brushes are what I use for doing wood glue or anything like that. They're also perfect for painting uh, everything, unless it's like super fine detail, which this is not. This is just black all the way over, gray around the edge, and then black around the border. So we're going to paint this real fast, and then we'll move on to the next step of putting in the stand itself. So the next step is to take your wooden dowel and cut it down to size. For this we use about 14 inches, which is a good height for most cowls to fit on and have plenty of wiggle room. So to get it firmly secured on here, we're gonna find the center, which is right about there. Take your pencil, trace it out. Once you've got a little line, and the pencil will just leave like a tiny little like scratch uh, it's not going to matter too much because this will cover it up after you've got it in. Once you've got that, you want to take your drill and a drill bit and drill a hole through there and then drill a hole through the center of here. So that way you can just drill it together. So let's get started on that right now. So like I said, you normally want to use a drill bit to drill in to make sure it can go through the wood safely. I actually have these special screws that I've been using to put the walls up in my new studio. Uh, they've been working really good without having to use a drill bit, that's their whole purpose. So I'm going to try it just like this, taking it into the center here and just and that, <laughs> that was super easy, took two seconds. These are very expensive screws. So I'm glad that they work as well as they do. So we got that in. We'll take it to this side. Find the center as best we can. Just about there. Get it all lined up. This is a little dangerous to do it like this, but you can. Normally we'd want to like have a clamp or something hold it. I don't have any. Try to get it in there as straight as possible. As you can see, once it's once it's gotten in there a little bit, that's all it takes. It is in. Like I said, you want it as straight as possible. Otherwise, it might be a little crooked, it might be a little slanted, or it might just come out the side. Once you get it in there, just unscrew it. Take it out, and then, so I'll take this side, get it back in it through real fast just enough to mount this side on you can screw it on manually at first just to make sure it's on until it touches the base and then just take it screw it in and there you have almost a completed base we're gonna paint this black the same as this and then we're going to give it the rounded top so that it won't hurt the cowls to have on. So in order to give it that round top, you're going to take the half styrofoam ball. And obviously the styrofoam ball kind of falls apart and everything, you know, over time. You don't want all this getting stuck inside the cowl. You take your smooth finish foam coating, which works with styrofoam and everything. It won't shrink or crack. Paintable coating 
for floor craft foam, which is what this is. It is also fast drying. So there you go, it looks like a little bit of sour cream. You need something a little sturdier to grip it and run it over. I don't have any tools specifically for this kind of thing, but I can take my X-Acto knives and this nifty little set I have does have a bunch of different blades that can be used for this. So we're gonna take this one right here at the far end. So another important thing to add before you can actually use this, uh, which I forgot, is you need to add a little bit of water so that it is, you know, usable. So we're just gonna pour a tiny bit in here and then it should soften it up to where it's usable. So then you take it, you spread it over the styrofoam ball. It might get a little messy, but that's okay. But once it's done, we'll be able to paint it, mount it onto the top, and have a nice cowl stand ready to go. Now that we've got all sealed and painted, all you have to do is stick it on to that, and we have our Batman cowl stand. So there's a couple ways you can stick it together. You can take a nail and nail it in through the top into the wooden dowel. You can take some glue, though it, you gotta be careful with the kind you choose or it will eat away at the uh, styrofoam bottom that's not sealed. Uh, we could go and seal it. I'm not gonna take the time to do that right now. Let's use some sticky back Velcro. We have our Velcro right here. It's a little big. We're just gonna trim it down to size. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit hanging off the sides because this whole thing's gonna be hanging off the sides, so, you know. And the same thing for the other half. Try to make it about even. And then try to line it up with the center as best you can. This won't eat away at the foam, and then you can simply stick it on like that. There you go. And that's how you do the Batman cowl stand. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. All the materials I used are bought locally at a Walmart. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, it was only like $13, $14 at most for a big one, and maybe $8 at most for a tiny one. They're put together basically the exact same way. The smaller ones don't take as much detail and time to make because they don't have all the extra little lines in them. You can just simply draw it on, paint it in, you're good to go. So if a smaller one's all you want, it takes a lot less time. If you want a really big detailed one like this, you can do it like that. You don't have to do anything on it. You could just get the plaque, put the thing in, and be done with that. I do it like this because this is just how I enjoy to do it. I think it looks better as a display. So, again, hope you guys like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe down below. It's a big help to the channel, and I hope to see you all next time. Thanks for stopping by.